Are you feeling harassed, but you're not sure if it amounts to harassment under the law? Then take a look at this video because I'm going to talk to you about hostile work environment claims and how to connect the facts of the harassment to the law. Hi, I'm Sindel, the managing attorney here at Knoll Law Group. Our firm has been around for over 30 years and we represent individuals who suffer verbal harassment or even physical harassment in the workplace. An employee can bring a hostile work environment claim under the Fair Employment and Housing Act in California. Fair Employment and Housing Act is FIHA. Now, what does an employee need to prove? Well, an employee is going to need to prove that they were subjected to harassment that was based on one of their protected characteristics, and that harassment created a work environment that was oppressive, hostile, intimidating, or just down offensive. Now let's focus on protected characteristics. What is a protected characteristic? And again, we have to look to FIHA to tell us what it is. Some examples of protected characteristics under the law are your race, national origin, gender, gender identity or expression, sex, disability, whether it's physical or mental, or veteran status. Now, what is so important to do is to connect that harassing conduct to one of your protected characteristics. So let's take an example. A potential client calls me and states that he is of Mexican descent and his coworkers and supervisors are making comments to him stating, go back to where you came from. I'm gonna pause and I'm gonna connect the dots. Those harassing comments are directed at that potential client based on his race or national origin. Ding, ding, ding. That's a protected characteristic. Let's take another example. A transgender client gives me a call and states that they are experiencing harassing comments. They are being called tranny and that their coworkers are talking about them behind their back saying that testosterone is for testes, not from pills. I'm gonna pause and I'm gonna connect the dots. Those harassing comments are being directed at that transgender client based on his gender identity and gender expression. Ding, 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 another protected characteristic. Now, these are just some examples of hostile work environment claims and how we connect the dots. But I know that all claims are just inherently different and super unique. So if you have questions about hostile work environment claims or you need help maybe connecting the dots, then give our offices a call for a free legal consultation. And if you found this video helpful, then give us a follow and subscribe.